there there were a few people asking earlier what is drawback chess so the time has come to explain uh this is a pretty new website the new chess variant and i'll just join the queue we'll hop in any time control is fine and this is my first opponent playing angry orange monkey probably a default username so every game in this variant you're given a drawback so this is my drawback homeland security if your opponent plays into your 16 starting squares you lose Okay, I need I need to be very secure then. Wow. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, so I think I should play a hippo. I'll start with e3. Should I cover my drawback? Well, now it's too late. If my opponent's sniping, then they're sniping, but... Uh, Hopefully they're not sniping. Yeah, it's it's a huge benefit though if you know your opponent's drawback. Yeah, it should not be known to the opponent. So we're starting with a hippo. I think the hippo is like, hey, I can draw circles and arrows. Hey, it's a new update. Wow, C4. I wonder if they have a drawback where they have to like keep pushing pawns or something. Sometimes, I don't know though. Like it, it's really hard to guess what the pawn's drawback is because. Um, it's unknown how many drawbacks are, there are, and there's new ones always popping up too. Okay, so I'm still going with a hippo. I love the fact I can draw arrows and circles. Yeah, what I'll do is, if I lose a game, then I'll hide my drawback. But if I keep winning, I won't hide my drawback. So far, Black's had no chances to invade my territory. I'm doing well on time. Okay, trying to complete the hippo setup. Uh, this site doesn't have any affiliation to chess.com as far as I know. It seems like they used um, the Lee Chess source code for maybe some things. And yeah, it's completely free. Like you don't even need to make an account. It's a, a nice concept. I have to think like long term. How am how am I gonna win this game? Because eventually the position will open up. I just have to be very cognizant of not having holes in my territory. Yeah, I'll, I'll play a, a at least a handful of games now. So we will see like other types of drawbacks. Some are definitely more severe than others. I think the more games you win, the more difficult your Drawbacks will be. B5 is a good move. Yeah, I, like I can't allow the trade of rooks. So, what to do? Maybe just take. 
not exactly what I want. At least I'm getting the d4 square. It would be funny if my opponent had a drawback where they can't move into my first two ranks. Probably not the case, though. Okay, I definitely don't want to allow queen takes d1, so... Yeah, I might as well trade queens. Trade queens, and then like d4. Attacking the knight, unleashing the bishop. Preventing bishop f5. So, I mean, black doesn't even have a good move to threaten to invade my back two ranks. Yeah, I have to be careful though, because now, yeah, if takes, takes, I really don't want the file to open. Um, I take on c6 with the knight. Setting up some discovery. Yeah, bishop here. If bishop here, I have uh, knight e7 to remove the bishop. Okay, now I have the fork, but do I want the fork? I probably do. Pre-move that. Now this. Oh no. Okay, if rook b8, then I, I wasn't sure how to stop because rook b1 wouldn't work. Um, should probably stop bishop a4. So let's play this. And then if rook b8, I play knight b5, and if takes, I play rook b1. Meanwhile, I think I'm winning on time. I won on time, okay. Well, that was the first game. Opponent did not snipe me. Opponent's drawback was comfort zone. If you can move to c4, you must. That's kind of funny. That's not as severe. I guess it only affected black. Ah, <laughs> it affected black when they played pawn c4. Okay. So that's drawback chaffs. Uh I'll go back to lobby. And yeah, when I join Q, it just pairs me with another random person who's joined the Q. So the one request is if you do play me, close your eyes, close your ears, don't look at my drawback if you want to play fair. Um People have been pretty good about not sliding. Of course, I can hide the drawback, but uh, we'll, we'll keep it going. As long as I keep winning, the drawback will stay uh, visible. Spread out. You can't move a piece next to another one of your non-pawn pieces. Oh, that's annoying. Wait a minute, so I just can't have pieces next to each other. So I should probably just look to trade as much as possible. Let's play a Scandi. Yeah, the problem is like, ah, uh, opponent's not trading with me. Like, let's say white plays queen takes f7. I can't take because my king is next to the bishop. That can be really bad. So basically, my pieces have to social distance. My non-pawn my non pieces. 
I don't think this one will be so bad. Because my pawns will be like good defenders. And my other pieces will social distance. Is castling allowed? Because when you move the king, it does wind up next to the rook. I wonder if... I mean, kingside casting probably isn't allowed, but I wonder if queenside casting is allowed. Because you put the king, but there's a square between the rook and the king. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, this really isn't so bad just yet. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> just as I say that. <laughs> queen b6 is not possible. Because it puts the queen next to the knight. Okay, I'll just play this. And queen b6 is like the natural move in that position. Yeah, this could get really bad if I get checked. And then I have to, like, do some weird thing to get out of check. I'm playing e6, but I'm not actually preparing bishop e7. Do I want to keep the bishop? Like, if it gets chased back, I can't even develop the knight. The crazy thing is, too, is if I take and white takes and I play this, and white takes, I can't take back, and I'm just losing. So I'm going to avoid that possibility in case my opponent's sniping. Okay, this looks fine now. I'm actually wondering, when it says next to, does that include one square diagonally? Like, can I put a queen here? Let's actually test it. Can I play queen here? I can't. So that does include diagonal. Oof. So it's not just adjacent. Okay, well now I can play queen b6. Because these are non-non-pawns. Also known as pawns. Maybe a5. Do wait, what? You can't move a piece next to one of your non-pawn pieces. Did I find a bug? Does it think this is a piece? Oh, but it didn't specify. Ah, so I can't. I can't play this either. Ah, okay. I understand now. So what can I do? Can I castle? Ah, I can castle. Haha. <laughs> Even though it puts pieces next to each other, when I play King C eight, it initially. Wait, the castling probably wasn't good. Oh no. How do I trade? Wait, it's so bad having the bishop here. Because I can't move my pawns on the king side. So I have to play... Maybe I have to play like rook d7. I have 18 seconds left. There is increment. I can't save the bishop. Oh, maybe I could take actually. Um, I bet I can't play queen b7 either. Okay, let's take. Okay, I'm just sacking a bishop because I could barely move anything. It's not clear what my opponent's drawback is. Ooh. Okay, barely have any time. Can 
Okay, G4 is hanging. F6 might be an idea. Wow. Okay, the, the plan is to play rook c8. I couldn't do so with the king on b8. And now I want to play bishop e7. Target the knight. Okay, some progress. But what's my next move? Okay, now I can take. And bishop is distancing itself from my other pieces. Now I can take here. I'm losing c5. On defend. Okay, this is going well now. If white were to take, I, I can't take back. But white doesn't know that. Doh. Wait, let's move the knight? Wow, I almost flagged. Yeah, it's like the fact I can't move pawns next to things kind of is tripping me up. But that's okay. There we go. Always play off six. Darr. This is frustrating. Okay, threatening to win the pawn now. Ah, good move. Oh no, my bishop. Oh no, my pawn. Barely made that move. Check. Okay, let's just take on F2. Simplify a little bit. Okay. <laughs> that was stressful. Your opponent's drawback was guilty conscience. Except for when capturing kings, can only capture with each piece type once. Oh, wow. Who had a worse drawback? So when they captured with the rook, then they can no longer capture with the rook. Hence why they didn't take my bishop with their rook. Ooh. Yeah, I think I had the more lenient drawback there. It's close, though. And I guess that would apply to both rooks. So towards the end, they could only make captures with the pawn or queen. Did they not play any pawn captures this game? Ah, that's why they played e5. Because if they take with the pawn, they can no longer take back with any pawns. Wow. Okay. We'll keep it going. Joining the queue again. I'm two out of two today. Despite all my drawbacks. Oh, this isn't bad at all. This is like what my opponent had the other game. Uh, let's play a London. It'd be funny if we see this move. I can't play a Stafford Gambit as white, unfortunately. Yeah, I feel like I can just play normal chess this game. I just have to make sure like I don't put my queen where it can move to c5 and blunder itself.
Actually, if takes, it'd be funny if takes, takes, and then b6, because I have to play queen c5. I was just thinking, I want to get my knight to e4 and f6, but if I get my knight to e4, I have to play knight c5. Play bishop here. Like, if black takes, normally I would take with knights, but I think it's just better to take with bishop. Yeah, it's hard to guess my opponent's drawback so far. They yeah, tried to play like a modern. And this is one of these drawbacks, like even if my opponent was sniping me, it would be really hard to exploit it. Yeah, again, if you're just joining and you haven't seen this game before, um, hopefully it's self-explanatory, but it's a new variant. You're given a drawback. Every game is different because both you and your opponent are given drawbacks. The website is drawbackchess.com. can paste it in chat. A nice tactic if, yeah, takes, I hit the king and the rook. It would be funny if there was a drawback that said on Passant is forced. Probably wouldn't affect things too much. Also, probably wouldn't make a difference for a lot of people <laughs> who already believe that. Wait a minute. I'm made, am I mating by force? Queen here, here. I'll take the rook. Wait a minute. If you can move to c5, you must. I can capture the pawn on c5, but I land on c6. So I'm pretty sure, just as as, as I was talking about en passant being forced, I'm pretty sure it's not forced for me. Yeah, it's not forced. Because this is moving to c6. I'll gladly accept my brick. Hey, I won. Oh, my opponent's drawback was three check. I checked the, the king three times. Okay, GG. I'm gaining drawback elo. Oh, my opponent has a very high drawback elo. Wow. I need to raise my drawback elo rating. Lower drawback elos indicate tougher drawbacks. Oh, then maybe I want to lower it? Ah, I see. So it's as if the elo of the drawback changes, but I don't know what my elo is. Yeah, it's elo of drawbacks, not of the players. Let's go back to lobby so I can view my profile. Um, we'll skip this. Oh, this is new too. Okay, so now you can make an account. And you can see the drawback glossary too. So these are all the drawbacks I've had. The more you play, the more this list will populate. And my preference in this setting is I prefer hard drawbacks. Even though last game I didn't really have a, a super hard drawback. 
So, um, I'm three out of three. Let's go. Despite all the drawbacks. Oh, this is going to be difficult. It's also bullet chess. Good luck to my opponent. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm white. I was waiting for them to move. Wait, I have to figure out some opening strategy. And this this is either going to go really well or really badly. I, I can't retreat. I think I go for a hippo. And I just like slowly expand. And at some point, I'm going to have to like go into my opponent's territory. Yeah, G6 is an, or B6 is annoying because I can't play G3. Well, now I can play G3. D4, E4. Wait, I can move sideways though. Yeah, it doesn't say I, I can't. So I can castle, I think. I just can't retreat. Do I want to play H4? And pawns already can move backwards. I think I'm better off playing H3. So if I want to, I could, like, I could just be patient. Yeah, it would be worse if I had to move forward every move. Um, I guess I'll castle. Yeah, so this is a, it's a non-forwards move, but it's not a backward move. And now what do I want to do? Do I wait? I don't actually know what to do here. Could wait. It is true, my opponent hasn't moved backwards at all. I guess it's typical for the opening, though. Like, usually, in most chess games, you don't move backwards until a bit later. So I have to be really careful putting my knight here, because if it gets attacked, I can't retreat. Maybe a4. And now I'd probably just wait, see what my opponent wants to do. Okay, well, they retreated, so they don't have the same drawback I do. Well, I can't play knight f1, because that's a backwards move. I can't even play bishop c1. Yeah. I'll just wait with my king, I guess. I feel stuck. Maybe I go for C3. That's a forwards move. Hmm. Now what to do? Look B1, maybe prepare B4. Oh, that's a really annoying move. Okay, let's trade. Well, now my queen can't go come to the back rank, but that's okay. I think it's okay on c2. Don't hurt me. My king's getting very unsafe. Almost have this move. Oh, 
Almost flagged there. Attacking C5. I'm so close to mating. My rook can't move backwards though. Okay. Oh, wow. My one drawback was they couldn't move their king. They didn't move their king the whole game. Ah. So they were in trouble when I attacked their king like this. I was really scared that the rook was going to come here and I have to move back. Or I, I wouldn't be able to move back. I was thinking like here, I can't even analyze because the king can't move, but here, here, and it looks like the bishop defends, but it doesn't because I can't move backwards. Oh, maybe I, I could just play, like if I want to defend f2, I could move to the side and then takes, 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 takes. Okay. Whew. I'm undefeated so far. Yeah, that was a tricky one. Back to lobby, join Q. We'll keep it going. Playing happy blue kangaroo. Uh-oh. I have the same one one of my opponents had earlier. Oh, this is going to be tough. So basically, I have to avoid trades. Yeah, this is going to be really tough. I get six captures total this game. <laughs> So what's my strategy then? Play C6. Maybe I go for some like quick attack like here, here. Now I'm playing very passively, but I can't afford any trades. Oh, except for when capturing kings. Oh, so my pieces can still deliver check, basically. I think, hopefully. <laughs> I'm going to see bishop h3 inducing some trade. Yeah, this won't prevent me from sacrificing. That's true. Wait, can I trap the queen? I'm really close to trapping the queen. The crazy thing is, if takes, I take with queen and then here, I can't take the pawn with the queen because my queen already made a capture. And then my queen would be trapped. So I'd probably have to take with the pawn. Oh, that's a good move too. Oh no. That's actually a really good move. Because if I take and then take... My bishop can't take anything. So I might as well just develop. I'm thinking I'll take with a knight. So now my knights can't capture anything, but this knight's not likely to capture, or it wouldn't be likely to capture anything even if it could. It's decently happy on g4. Yeah, now we see the knight has been removed from this list. I think I'll play b5. Let's restrict this knight. So I'm going to assume my opponent doesn't know my drawback, and maybe I can still like scare them with my knights.
Okay, scary, scary night. It's not legal to take the bishop, though. <laughs> knight b2 doesn't make any sense. I have to move back. Yeah, there's definitely some element of bluffing. Oh yeah, we should write a parody to Don McLean's Starry Starry Night. Scary, scary nights. Save it for the next time I play Vincent Keimer. Wait, this is bad. Are we trading? No, I can't I can't afford to recapture. So maybe this oh gosh. I think it's best to gambit the pawn. Because if I take here, I mean, then I can no longer capture with a pawn. Let's just sack. At least I open a file. And maybe c5 can come and hit the brook. Ooh, white's not taking. So I wonder if they have some drawback that prevents them from taking. Castle here. Because it's so natural to take the pawn. Okay, well, now they take the pawn. Wait, do you have the. No, they don't have the alternating color drawback. Hmm. I'm trying to imagine, like, what they could have had. Okay, so I'm down a pawn. I mean, at least I'm alive. I feel like it could be a lot worse. It's probably going to get a lot worse. Yeah. Ay, 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 ay. Again, I can't afford to take. Like, what to do? Knight c4, I guess. Like, at least make an outpost. White's king is so safe. Maybe I should play like rook b7 and try and double up. Okay, definitely not trading there. Thank you, Slimy Slim. Appreciate it. Oh, that's a good move. Oh, no. I might as well play... Move the rook? Or do I take... Move the rook? I could actually play king... Mm. Playing this... Trying to preserve a capture for later, but probably not a great strategy. We're both getting lower in time. Yeah, at least I remove the the knight. I can't capture with that knight though. Capture with pawn, bishop. Oh, I hung a queen. It's not good. I lost on time, too. That did not end well. Oh, I should have traded queens. That would have made life slightly easier. That was rough. What did my opponent have? Tower defense. You can't move your rooks. If you lose your rooks, you lose. 
Oh. Maybe I could have survived. Like if I didn't plunder my queen and we traded. White castled, but... Yeah, white's basically without rooks. Well, good game. Yeah, I was a little bit too slow there. Maybe I, I could have had chances. Okay, we're doing one more. I'll probably wrap things up soon, but at least one more. Drag. Your queen is a king. <laughs> Moves like one. If it's captured, you lose. So I basically have two kings. Can I castle with my queen? If it moves... Probably not. I should at least try, though. Oh, that's really funny. So I, I, I have more. I have like more ways to lose this game now. I feel like the hippo is a go-to opening for most of these drawbacks. It'd be so funny if my opponent sees me castle my queen. I feel like that would be a giveaway. I'm going to try playing queen b1 and see what happens. What is this? Bong cloud. Okay, I can't castle. I guess because the queen doesn't start on the same square as the king. But I can probably castle this way. Okay. Wonder why my opponent did that. Okay, I'm just going to play a waiting game. Let's see four. Yeah, I want to attack on the king side, but I have I, I don't have the right type of queen to attack with. At least my king also moves like a king. Be nice if the king moved like a queen. Someone should code a superpower chess. Where instead of having a drawback, you have a superpower that's unknown to your opponent. I'm not sure how well that would work, though, compared to this. I can't play queen h5. <laughs> my, my queen is a king. Maybe I, like, put my queen next to my king. Or should I spread them out? I don't know. Play rook f1 first. It's a safe position, at least. Yeah, normally you don't want your king on e2, but it's fine right now. I'll play this. Take some patience to build up here. I want to put it here, but 
if I put it here, then I feel like that's a giveaway. Maybe I'll make a rook move first and then later play queen g1. Okay, my queen and king are pretty safe here. I don't really want to trade knights. Okay, don't mess with my ball of pieces. <laughs> Put the other rook on g2. What a setup. Maybe h5? Preventing knight g6 to f4. This game could go on for a long time. I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, I have this move now. Wait a minute. This is really, really good. Because if king here, I win the bishop and fork the queen and rook. If king here, I take and fork the king and queen. Oh yes, my horsey. I don't think I want to take the rook though. Also, thank you, Halvard. Appreciate the raid. Yeah, if you're just joining, I'm playing drawback chess. This is my drawback. My pieces are safe for the time being. I don't know why I put my bishop here. Bishop should probably be back on this diagonal. And this bishop should probably be on d1. B4 is probably too risky, but maybe I'll... I'm taking this very, very slowly. I'll probably go for the eventual break. Now, do I want to close down the position? I might as well gain more space. Yeah, this is still going to be hard to win. And my queen can't do much. What's my plan? It's still unclear what my opponent's drawback is, too. Uh, okay, this knight should be improved. Four years, let's go. Let's go. Thank you, Emblem. Welcome back. Happy four years. There's been a few four-year anniversaries today. Okay, I have a plan. Involves getting the knight to h4. But how do I get there? We have g2, e1, c2. 
Can I get there? So I guess this is a path here, 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 here. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a long path to get to a square that's just diagonal one, one square from each three. It's so funny that to get to G2 from H3, I have to go to A1. Knights are so clumsy sometimes. Does it even do anything? I feel like it's doing something. Okay. So I have access to a5. I've avoided the 50 move rule. And now with queen here, I play this. It does offer the trade in knights, but if queen here, I fork. I'm hitting this pawn. I guess there is queen here. Did I make progress? Maybe not. Uh, I thought I was being clever. I wonder if Black's going to play g6. Oh, that's actually a good move. Because g6 does look scary with the queen here. I'm also just realizing if, if I get skewered, like my queen and king get skewered, I'm basically losing if I can't block. But my opponent probably doesn't know that. Now there goes my pawn. Play this move. Let's play this move first. I want to take on c5. Now this game is turning into a marathon. Okay, I won the queen. But what's the damage? And I win the rook too. So we're going into the end game where it looks like I'm up a queen, but I'm not. Oh, my opponent might, like, even if they're not sniping, they might realize what my drawback is. Because, I'm like, to get my queen here, it takes, like, six moves. At least my other things are active. Try and move faster here. Don't really want to draw. Oh, this is actually kind of an interesting endgame. So it's rook and two kings for rook, knight, and king. But my, I'm I'm just gonna call this a king because it is. So it's susceptible to checks, but it can still be activated. I just can't get my two kings forked. Okay, I'm leaving my queen there. This is winnable. Maybe get the king here. Or mm. we're, we're beyond move one hundred. 
of Hun's being so patient. They're probably confused why I'm moving my queen like that. <laughs> One square at a time. Okay. Gradually migrating to the queen side. I wonder if I can like bluff my opponent somehow, like scare them with my queen. Like they're not gonna take it or they're not gonna attack it. Yeah, let's bring my queen in. They're, they're just gonna be terrified of it. I'll I'll play queen a4 and it it looks like I'll be threatening some mate. They're going to play this move. And then I'll come in. Uh let's play this. Okay, now it looks like I have I have a battery. I bring my king in now. I feel like it's dangerous to put my king and, uh, and other king next to each other. I feel like this is the way to go. Where's my win though? Okay, now I can take. That's big progress. I won the c5 pawn. Very close to flagging there. I think I'll just take on d7. Oh, now no. I'm so low on time. There we go. Wait, what happens if my if I make another queen? Is that also a king? Can I move this one like a queen? I can't take. Do! Oh! I have three kings. What is this? Normally this would be stalemate, but... Okay, there we go. <laughs> I So I should not have promoted to a queen. Because then I just have another liability. Also, I won with one second left. That was 143 moves. I mean, I promoted to a queen because I was curious. Yeah, maybe it should say your queens with S in parentheses. Oh yeah, what was my opponent's drawback? Hey, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Yeah, this is the most intense game I've ever had of drawback chess. Uh, view info. Control center. Your non-capturing moves must be to the, the four center files, central files. Ah. Interesting. So black could not make captures on the A, B, G, and H files. So that doesn't explain their king e7 move in the opening. Oh no, it does, because they couldn't castle. They couldn't uh, put the king on g8. 
Wow. So I could have exploited it. Yeah, it's like after so many moves, you can maybe make this inference, but you have to be very observant. Welcome back to Late Night Life Alert. Happy 37, 37 months. Okay, I'm tired. It's approaching later into the night, even though it's still pretty early evening. 7-11. Um, I'm going to wrap things up.